was out walking on the streets of Laredo. As I was out walking Laredo one day, I saw a young cowboy all dressed in white buckskin. All dressed in white buckskin, as cold as the clay. Now I can tell by your outfit that you are a cowboy. I can tell by your outfit that you're a cowboy too. We, we can, can tell, tell by our outfits that we are both cowboys. And, and if you had an outfit, outfit you'd be, be a cowboy, cowboy too. Hey! Hi, Somebody stole my horse. <gasps> now, only once before has my horse been stealed, and that was in Tombstone, Alabama. And if I don't get my horse back by the time I've counted to five, the same thing that happened in Tombstone is gonna happen here. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm gonna give you another chance. Now this time, if I don't get my horse back by the time I've counted to five, the same thing that happened in Tombstone is gonna happen right here. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna give you just one more chance now. <laughs> now this time, if, if I don't get my horse back by the time I've counted to five, but the same thing that happened in Tombstone is gonna have to happen right here. One, two, three, four. Hey, cowboy! What did happen in Tombstone? I had to walk home. <laughs> Gee, I sure hope he's a fast walker. It's getting real dark around here. Ah, I see the moon through the window. And the moon looks down and sees me. Oh, yeah? Up in the sky, he sees me sit and sigh. For my heart is broken since she said goodbye. He can hear when you whisper in my ear. I'm as happy as the birds up in the tree. Oh, me, oh. I see the moon through the window. And the moon looks down and sees me. Right, you've got the words, you can do the actions as well. Are you ready? All together. I see the moon through the window. the minutes fly I pray that you'll come back to me when suddenly a friendly face has given me the eye oh me oh my a friendly face has given me the eye
night. And there was no moon at all. It was one of the, one of the darkest nights I can ever remember. And I had been driving across a moor, miles from anywhere, miles from civilization, and suddenly my car stopped. And I couldn't get it to go. What was I to do? I knew there were no houses around. Nothing. I got out of the car and peered around me, and down in the valley, down, down, I could see a faint, distant light. I thought, that's it. That's where I've got to head for to get help. I locked the car and set off. Down the side of the hill, I clambered through gorse and bracken, tearing up my ankles. And then uh, I was into open fields. And in the gloom, I went on and on across the fields. On and on, it seemed endless, until suddenly, there in front of me were some great wrought iron gates. And the right-hand one was swinging on one hinge. I pushed it open. and set off along a gravel path, which led up to what I could see was the shape of an old, old house. Then, tripping over some crumbling old steps, I made my way to this huge oak door. I gave a knock. Knock, knock. Who's there? <laughs> knock, knock. No. This isn't a joke, this is serious. <laughs> From the other side of the door, I heard approaching footsteps. A bolt was drawn. And the door opened to reveal an old man dressed in a brown cloak and hood. He beckoned me in to a dusty, cobwebby corridor. And I followed him along, along, until he threw open a door. And there, in front of me, was a roaring log fire, crackling away, and an old chair which he bid me sit in. I realized that I had come to an old friary, and that this old man was the oldest friar of all. Now, I'd, I'd just like to say here that this is, as I said before, it is a serious story, and I, I don't want, there are gonna be no jokes in it, like, are you the fish friar? No, I'm the chipmunk. All right, <laughs> get that straight. So, now we're Oh, yes, so I said, I asked if there was a phone so that I might call for help. But the old man said that there wasn't, but that I was not to worry because I could, if I so wished, stay the night. I said that I did so wish to stay the night. And he led me to a tiny candlelit bedroom where I went soundly asleep and slept like a log, and then woke up in the fireplace. <laughs> what am I doing here, I thought. Then I realized that I could hear a sound from the distance, a sound going rattle, rattle, bang, bang, screech, screech. The hairs on the back of my knees stood up on end. I pulled the sheets over my face and longed for morning to come. In the morning, over breakfast, as I toyed with a kipper, I asked the old friar, what was that terrible noise last night going rattle, rattle, bang, bang, screech, screech? The old friar said, I cannot tell you, because you are not a friar. I hurriedly bolted my kipper, rushed up the hill again to find my car, choking on a bone that had stuck itself in my soft pallet, wrenched open the door and tried to get my car working, but it wouldn't work. All day long, I tried. And as dusk fell again, I realized that I was doomed to spend another night in the old friary. That night, I slept fitfully. And suddenly, I heard the noise again. Rattle, rattle, bang, bang. Screech, screech. I crossed the floor and opened the door in my pajamas. Which is a funny place to have a door, I know. <laughs> and there, and there stood the old friar again. Friar, I said, friar, I beg you, tell me. What is this terrible noise going rattle, rattle, bang, bang, screech, screech? The old friar looked at me and said, I cannot tell you because you are not a friar. I said, but you must tell me. Make me a friar so that I may know what that noise is. <laughs> it will take ten years to make you a friar, he said. I said, well, then I will wait ten years. I do not mind, but I must know what the noise is. <laughs> so I waited 10 years, 
And ten years later, on a Thursday in August, I was made a friar. And that night, as I lay on my plank, I realized suddenly that there was a tap on the door. I had a quick drink of water, <laughs> opened the door, and there was the old friar beckoning me with his bony finger to follow. I followed him, he leading with his candle along corridor after corridor, corridor after corridor, through a door into another corridor, which led in turn through a door to another corridor. On and on we went through doors and corridors until he started going down some steps. Down, 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 down we went, down, 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 until suddenly I realized that I was in a dark, damp cave. Drip, drip, drip. I wiped my nose <laughs> and realized that while I had been so doing, the old friar had gone to the corner of the cave with the lamp. I rushed across and peered over his shoulder. And then the sound came again. Rattle, rattle. Bang, bang. Squeak, squeak. I had discovered what it was. Do you want to know? Yes. What it was? Yes. Well, I cannot tell you, because you are not a friar. Soup of the week. It's leek. What luck. Some duck. Uh, no, um, steak I'll take, followed by ice cream, one scoop. Your soup? <sighs> Ugh, look, warm leek. What a treat. I say. Did you call? Is that all? Everything okay? Take a look. At the leek? Stone cold. Take a peek. It looks hot. Well, it's not. Had a lick, nearly sick. Ugh, take it away. If you say. <clears throat> Where's the steak? It's half baked. Just look, not cooked. Try these. Some peas. They're still deep freezed. The service is slack. This service is slick. Slack. Slick. Look, look warm leak. And the steak? A mistake. And the peas still deep freezed. Had enough? In a huff. Not another cold dish. I'll get chips and fish. But don't leave your seat. The meal's not complete. No, take it away. I bid you good day. Now, you might have heard told that our food's always cold. Well, believe it or not, this ice cream's quite hot. Hi, Phil Makers here, Hollywood Casting Agency. What's that? You want a part in the film, The Net? We're not casting The Net. <laughs> anyway, there's no place in it for small fry. <laughs> Hi, filmmakers here. Oh, Mr. Barking. Yeah, I got the very part for you. In The Hound of the Baskervilles. <laughs> yeah, playing the lead. Oh. What's that? You've been collared already. <laughs> rough, rough, rough. <laughs> yeah. I have a major scales here. He says he plays the piano by ear. Tell him that's nothing. I've just engaged a guy who fiddles with his beard. <laughs> Next. Would you like to see a tap dance? Sure thing, babe. Take the floor. It's a long run in fact. Oh. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. I am the great Italian tenor, Signor Before Somewhere. Uh -huh. I'd like to sing you now a very famous song. Please. Maria, 
I just met a girl called Anita. Oh no, it's not Anita. It's uh, uh, Conchita. Uh, no, uh, 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 Margarita. Oh, I forget. Uh, oh. No sweater. Oh. Do you dance? Not a chance. I'll see ya. Oh, mamma mia. Next. Mr. Maker, I want you to make me a star. You want me to make you a star, baby? Yeah. Hang on. <laughs> they are a star. A star? Oh, tall. I don't look like John Travolta, but I don't really mind. Even if the girls say I'm there like Frankenstein. <laughs> Maybe I'm a backhoe, maybe I'm a mess, but I ask if I'm handsome, and Teddy says yes. <laughs> I'll never go to college or be a mastermind. Arithmetic and algebra leave me behind. Can he play at Piva? Can he play at chess? But I ask if I'm clever, and Teddy says yes. Me and him, we're a pair. Me and my old teddy bear. If I need a cuddle when there's nobody there, I just snuggle up. My teddy bear Never need to wonder Never need to guess When I ask If he loves me Teddy says What kind of bear am I? Flea bear. Like a flea, like a flea. Scratch. A bug, a bug bear. A bug bear. I'm a bear, I'm a bear. What kind of a bear am I? A polar bear. Yes, I'm a polar bear. I'm a bear, I'm a bear. What kind of bear am I? Smelly. porridge who's been eating my porridge and who's been eating my porridge you silly bears I haven't even served it yet <laughs> Ow. Suppose you think I'm going to serve you, do you? I'm oh, very rude, and what's up with you? I've got a chip on my shoulder. So you have. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> Good afternoon. Now, what can I get for you, sir? Well, what's today's special? A chicken dinner for 10p. A chicken dinner for 10p? I can hardly believe it. That sounds wonderful, I'll have a chicken right dinner for 10p. Are, that's sir. marvellous. Very cheap. Chicken. Chicken cheap. Here we are. <laughs> What on earth is this? Chicken dinner, sir. Corn. Oh, no. Oh, listen, I've changed my mind. Please take it away. We'll just have a wee kick at the menu. What have we got? Oh, yes, tell me. Uh, do you have frog's legs? As a matter of fact, I do, and jolly useful they are, too. Grip it, grip it, grip it. Now then, sir, what can I get for you? Well, what can I have? Um, 
Anything you like, sir. Anything I like? Anything you like. In that case, I'll have elephant's ears on toast. No, you can't have that, sir. Ah. <laughs> no bread. <laughs> Do you like meatballs? Well, I don't know. I've never been to any. <laughs> no, I'll tell you what, my dear. Do you have a pair of chicken wings? I certainly do, sir. Well, then, flap off to the kitchen and get me a sausage. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. Yes. What? What? Tell me, what is the best bacon to have here? Oh, wait, lean back. What is the best bacon to have here? Lean back. Lean... <laughs> here we are, sir. Now, would you like a vegetable? Oh, what have you got? Spinach. Oh, I hate spinach. Oh, you ought to like it. Put some colour in your cheeks. Who wants green cheeks? Oh. <laughs> Madam, what is the soup of the day? A stupid soup, sir. Stupid soup? It's very thick. Can I have anything off the menu? Anything you like, sir. Well, then I'll have dirty fingerprints and grease stains. <laughs> Waitress! Yes? Come here a wee minute. This is minute. No, sir. That is your sausage. <laughs> this is your new. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I say. I've made up my mind. What I would really like is just the cheese board. Uh, the cheese board, cheese yes, board. sir. Now, I think you'll agree that's a very nice bit of wood indeed. What is it, do you think, oak? No, probably not. Beautifully finished, nicely rounded. Look at the beveling. What am I talking about? What I want is a piece of cheese. Now, sir, what would you say to a lump of gorgonzola that's 100 years old? I would say... Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, Gorgonzola! Happy birthday to you! Oh, for goodness sake, take the plate away! <laughs> no! He said plate away, not play away! Oh, never mind. It really doesn't matter if the cheese is very smelly or wear a clothes peg. Of the telly, a T L A Y. Play away, play away, play away, play away, play away, play away, play away. Summer, winter, autumn, spring, inside or out. Stop what you're doing, sing and shout. Come on, T L A Y. Play away, play away, play away, play away. Next week, Brian Kant and the Playaway Band's guests will be Ben Benison, Delia Morgan and Anita Dobson. Next week, at the later time of 5 to 4. Sway to the beat! Come on, Fond farewell from us all. Oh.